Hello guys, right, have any of you guys heard of a show called Robot Wars? I'm just going to put a quick clip of the actual TV programme uh, above this video so you can show what, you can see what I mean. Um, it's basically, you build robot, remote controlled robots with weapons like a spinning disc, a flipper or an axe and then you fight them against another person's robot. An example of these, I've got some of my old toys from the actual old uh, series. These are back from 2001, so these are really old. As an example, there's like an X1, his name's Exterminator. And it pulls X back and it goes. There were pull backs. There's one called Hypno Disc. This disc spins again, pull back, and Firestorm with a flipper. So these are basically some examples of some of the robots, and of course these were big robots, they were 100 kilograms, and they've rebooted the series, it's now series 3 of the reboot, um, which is technically season 10. Uh, yeah, and they've upped the weight to 110. When I was, when I think when they... Uh, about two years ago now, or something, I decided to build uh, my own my own little robot. This is a, a, what's classified as an ant weight. It's 150 grams. Um, it looks something <laughs> like that at the moment. It's battered. It's bruised. Uh, there's some of the motors and stuff that I used to run. I used to run this gigantically thick blade but then it's overweight so that's that and I thought you know what I'll make a quick video on this and then I'll show you guys the weapon spinning up of course this is just a servo running these modified um, yeah I need to replace them but I thought you know what I'll give you well, here's a look at the internal so you've got a speed controller you've got the um, uh, the receiver, and now you've got the motor, the upper motor will be there. You've got a um, brushless motor, just there. And then here's the battery. So, at the moment I can't find eight, I think it's eight or six. Uh, yeah, eight double A's for this beast of a transmitter or controller. So I'm just going to have to run it off the mains. But I just thought I'd give you a quick show of this. So if I just plug in the... Uh, if I just turn on the transmitter first, as you can see it's on, it's flashing. And if I plug in the battery, as you can see it's connecting. There we go, it's connected. So I'll put the cover back on. I'm just going to quickly show you the blade spinning, just quickly. So it's very high pitch, and as this blade's spinning up, I'm obviously not going to spin it up to its max potential. In fact, if I give it a little hold, I'll probably spin it up to about halfway, and then you guys can hear what that sounds like. Yeah, so that was, this is my uh, first attempt of a proper combat robot. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this um, outside where it's a little bit safer to spin at full speed. Spin at full speed and I might get a stick and push like a bit of wood towards the blade. So you guys can actually see <laughs> what it's like when it's in full action. Um, so yeah, it's like a, here's the little clip. Right, so this is... You're ready, you're about from here. It's Stefan. So it's starting to spin it up. So it's just under halfway. It's halfway. It's full. Now it's trying to escape. Let's see what 
It conveys this big piece of wood. It's a little bit harder to So it's quite hard to get the tool. So yeah, that's just a quick little test. Some springs. Just turning off the transmitter and then put in the battery. So yeah, tell me what you think. Battery's still alright even though it popped out. So it's the top plate. So tell me what you guys think about this little this little demon. Do you think I should carry on I'm trying to make it better? Put some new motors in it, make it well actually make it so you can actually fight with it at the moment. It's just got so many zip ties holding it all together. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, this is low. This has been lower than forbidden. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Remember to also press the bell icon for the notifications. And let me just show you the end of the piece of wood. You see that? It's nasty. Look how thick the cut is. No, I mean, it's just zoom out. Amateur at work. As you can see, that is a big, big gouge. Didn't do too much on this block of wood, I just sort of marked it around. Yeah, that's it. Bye.